So I think I know the issue here as to why I haven't caught that, that absolute giant that we've been after. I haven't been wearing these. Sturgeon spotters. Fraser River. This is the dwelling place of the giant prehistoric white sturgeon. I like this weather. Cloudy, no wind. We do like we do every day. Baits in, change spots, keep it fresh. Hope the fish gods reward us. Dino time, boys. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's day number three out here on the Fraser River. Like Peric said, we are doing some dino hunting yet again. We still have not crossed paths with that uh, Megalodon, but hopefully with this change in weather, these big ones show up. It's uh, Cletus the Clementine's turn to catch a fish. Flair and Peric both nabbed their little sturgies yesterday. Um, you know, this is not, it's not an easy style of fishing out here. You could go literally fishing all day with just one bite, but that one bite could be like a nine, eight foot you know, sturgeon. Like these are fish we're talking about here. I don't know if we're, if we're really doing a good job explaining this, but these are aqua dragons. They're huge, they're massive. Um, it's pretty hard to wrap our minds around the fact that we're reeling these things on like, what, eight and a half foot rods. Just pure muscle. Anyway, it's Rob's turn. We're just sitting idle. And uh, hopefully once he catches his Mondo, I get to catch mine. We really, really want to catch one over eight foot. I like this weather. Cloudy, no wind, a little bit of drizzle, which will be on and off throughout the day. And uh, we do like we do every day. Baits in, change spots, keep it fresh. The fish gods reward us. This is so cool. So we're out here, of course, waiting for these sturgeon to bite. But in the meantime, like I said in this, uh, this whole past series, you just, you just gotta take this river for what it is, it's just beautiful. Um, so occasionally Rob and I just go off the boat and putz around and wander. And we've uh, stumbled upon this river that forks into two areas. And this side right here has got some salmon running right now. So the salmon runs currently happen. I think these are chum, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But with these, with these salmon running, um, the sturgeon are eating the eggs and the dead pieces of salmon. So that helps the bite as well. But Rob's checking them out. Can I keep catching Mother Earth here? We got a little guy on here, I think, still, but we've got a uh, line stuck on the, weight stuck on the shelf, so we're gonna back off the shelf, get him off there, see what we got going on. I'm really hoping that it's a small one, like real small. All right, All right there we go. We got the one we're talking about. We wanted a micro because the chances of a micro not being tagged is like extremely high. And this is a micro. This 
could be our Guggenfish. This could be the Guggenfish. This is this is what we're looking for. This is a super micro. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Holy cow, it is raining. We're battling elements right now to try and catch this fish. Yo, John. But this could be the one we were looking for. No, no chip. I'll just let him touch everything. It's super important to get these things tagged, like a huge deal. And the chance of this being tagged is like slim, slim, slim than none. This is, this, is, this is what Kevin lives for right here. I like the little guys. Oh, that's bad. That's, that's, that's perfect, dude. Hell yeah. Tell me you're not tagged, little dude. Okay, ready? No ID found. This fish is getting tagged right now. Look at this. This is our Guggen fish. Okay, let's get him. It's almost as cool catching a giant as it is catching one of these small fish because they're so hard to come by. And that you're knowing that that's probably the first time this fish has ever been caught in its life. It's a tag in it and now somebody else can catch it. So this fish, because we're, we tagged it, the Fraser River Sturgeon Conservation Society, you can actually adopt the fish for $100, you get to name it. And every time he gets recaptured, if he does, you get an email on the fish, where he's got, where he's gone in the river, how big he's got, and uh, you get a little certificate, you get a little sturgeon book, and um, it's a pretty cool little program that we have is adopt a sturgeon. So all that money goes back into the program to pay for our tags and scanners and keep this fishery alive. Oh my gosh, look at this little dude. This is gonna be called, uh, what do you guys wanna call this? Gugan. It's, it's the Gugan. Gugan. It's the Gugan. Gugan. That is Gugan a Gugan fish, fish right there. <laughs> we're gonna, we're actually gonna adopt this fish and he's gonna end up on the wall. Not, not him, not literally. Literally. a replica. A replica. A replica. <laughs> so, Put him back. Let's get him back in the water. Come on, little dude. There he goes. Woo. <laughs> That's right. Hell yeah. Wow, that water is cold. Fine, <laughs> <laughs> Horizon. How do you think he feels? <laughs> that water is so cold. That's awesome. Micro Sturgis. Just, we're just we're as cool as catching a big one. We're hooked up to one that's a little bit bigger than the last one. Just a little bit bigger. I'm trying to see if he's gonna come up with jump. That's it. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. We're dealing with rain. Nice, no, just rain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a long thought in my head and then I was just like, you know what? Why? We were all sitting in there. It's obviously been a little bit of a rainy morning. I'm trying to stay dry. Kevin just goes hooked up. Rob jumps out, grabs the rod. Decent fish. We were in there like a bunch of gray hairs just chatting away. Just chatting away. Thanks, Stubbs, for the update. Just so everybody knows, Perrick's new uh, nickname is Stubbs, so make sure to call him that from now on. Stubbs. Stubbs. Yeah, you want to know why? Because I have stubby arms. I don't know if you feel any rocks. Uh, I have anything? felt a rock, yeah. You have? Yeah, okay. I have felt a rock. Definitely felt a rock. Yeah, I want to say this one's got a little bit of girth on him, a little thick son of a gun. The one I caught the other day did not pull drag like at all. Not that GoPro? This one's pulling some drag. I think it's going coming up. If I was a gambler man, this is a lot bigger than my first one we caught. This is a big one! Big one! Thanks, Stubbs. Stubbs coming in hot. But it's uh not wanting to turn right now, so. It's not the rocks, yeah. It's not, a, it's not a Chinook. It might be a Chinook. It could be a dinosaur. Hey, you want your hood on? Are you a little cold? Thanks, Stubbs. Now I can't see. <laughs> okay, hey guys. He's, this is a good look at, look. Wait, look at his face right now. <laughs> hey, this is a good look at Sturgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Rob actually look. this morning was, uh, he was hired to direct traffic and they let him keep the vest, so. <laughs> That's why he's uh, bright and orange right now. He was directing the Canadian traffic. Oh, come on, you dirty son of I wonder if it's the current that's making this thing seem so... The current's, not, the current's ripping here, so we actually don't know if it's a, if it's a big one or it's just this damn current. Oh, here we go, here we go. Get him, boy! There we go. I'm winning this one. Oh, there we go. Get away the water. 
So you guys just saw that fish pretty much beat up Rob. That's about a five to six footer. These fish get up to nine, ten feet. Think about that. Can't imagine what a fish that big would do to a, a weak little Guggen like us. Fighter. It's a fighter. Scanner. Good tag fish, yep. I am instantly regretting this right now. My am so cold. So what we got is a bad net marks here on this fish. You can see them right here, right through here. What's all this? And right through here. You can see it in here. And there's some really dark, dark lines, which means that it's really been uh, really deep damage to them. So this fish's head would be in through a gill net, say an eight inch mesh that they'd be using for maybe Chinook. And what happens is they get caught in there. So it's you can see it right around his top scoots through here and all the way down. You can see that this fish has been tangled up really badly with lots of, somehow got, got out and survived it, but many don't. They say up to 47% of fish, sturgeon that are in nets die. 172 centimeters, which I don't know how many feet that is. It is close to probably, I would assume, five, six foot, right? Yeah, right close to six feet. That's six foot fish right here. Ain't nothing like it. Nice. First, uh, first big of the day. Now we got the last one on row. First one on lamprey, so I'm gonna try row out here for a little bit longer and uh, should be keep biting here, so it's good. I've seen a few fish roll, which is nice. So they're moving. I think I know the issue here as to why I haven't caught that, that absolute giant that we've been after. I haven't been wearing these. Sturgeon spotters. Pop it in. Bring it in totally. No, no, just yeah, pop it in. Yeah. Just had a little tiny bite. Could have been a micro, but who knows? So take a look at this, boys. This is a tanker. Dude, it can girth these fishes.